So I've been wasting time. I have an issue and it's not a good one. Welcome to the vlog. Cheers. Hello beautiful, what is up? My name is Caitlin. If you are new here, I am going to be doing a studio vlog today. I'm really excited because I'm going to be focusing a lot on my digital planners and making stickers for them, but I also want to actually start selling physical stickers. So this week I am going to be doing a bit of testing with printing them off, seeing if I can get them cut on my Cricut. I thought I would take you along show you kind of the behind the scenes. If you are a business owner and you are starting off brand new, you are at the same starting point as me. I think it'd be cool to go back and see where I am at the beginning and then see where I am a few months from now. I think that's what the goal of these studio vlogs are going to be. So if you have any questions really specifically on what I'm doing or things that you'd like to see more of, let me know because I am happy to record those. All right, let's hop on into the video. So I actually have a couple of things already created. I I have some monthly sticker sheets. So these ones are actually already up on my shop. So if you buy things for the blank monthly calendars, you get four in one different color palettes. First thing that I'm gonna be really focusing on is getting my sticker weekly kits going. So if you wanted to print this off and use it for yourself, either on sticker paper or use it digitally in your planner, you can do that as well. For these sticker kits, I wanted to use my simple, basic lettering style that I use a lot in my plan with me videos and then also have the options for different colors if you like to switch them up from week to week. So I finished the sticker sheets, I think, on my iPad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test them out in the journal. I don't want to waste sticker paper, so if this is you and you are trialing and erroring things with your sticker sheets in your journal, test it out on a piece of paper first, just like a regular printer paper to make sure that A, everything prints off okay in that color, and then B, when you put in the sticker paper, you're gonna know that those sizes match properly into your journal when you're using them. I did end up downloading two different versions of my sticker sheets, one with a white background, one without, to see if that's gonna make a difference when I provide it to my machine to cut things out, but here we go. Okay, so I printed them out, one with the background and one without, and I don't think it really made a difference. I'm just gonna cut them out and then make sure that everything is a good size and fits in the journal properly and see how it goes. Ideally, like what my goal is, is that these Monday, Tuesdays are gonna get replaced in my journal and then I can have stickers as well here to start using to make planning a little bit quicker during the week. Welcome to the vlog! <laughs> oh, actually, while you're here, can I get your opinion? Okay, so I like the size of these stickers. Those ends. Can I get it up close? Is it oh, focused? Okay. I feel like a makeup guru. Oh, oh yeah, those good. numbers look way better. Okay, so I like my Mondays. But this is where I think I might have gone a little too big. So if you look at them in relation, in relation to each other. Yeah, in relation to that. Yeah, for sure. So it would be like that, but the circle would be smaller as well. Yeah, then I think that's fine. Good? Good. I'm glad I asked your opinion. Right. So I printed everything off and I really like the Monday to Sunday lettering. I think that they fit perfectly on the page, they match and look exactly what I want them to. But the number sheets, I think I need to shrink a little bit more. That's why I went on my printer paper instead of my sticker paper so I wouldn't have to waste anything. Um, I feel like I should have something in my hand. I'm such a hand talker. Like, I don't know, do you do that? And then you just feel weird because you're going like this all the time. Yeah, that's me. Yesterday was one of those days where I just didn't feel like putting in a lot of effort. So I really just did the bare minimum that I needed to do in order to get by. That means there's a lot going on today. I do wanna end up start selling physical stickers. So that's something that's really important to me to make sure that all the work that I'm putting in right now for digital products can then be converted into physical products because it wouldn't make any sense if I were doing all this work and then not have it work. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like 
good. It looks so good. Okay, so well, I feel like actually I could, pro <laughs> could probably get you at a better angle than me like this. Anyways, I like the size. Everything is looking good for these numbers. The layout of it just feels a little bit better with the size of the circle and the rectangle. I'm gonna create this in different colors and then we get to start doing the Cricut. Have I ever used my Cricut? Yes, twice. But now that is going to change. I am on a stick of business journey, baby. Okay, let's get going. The reason why I put so much effort and work into making sure my first copy or draft of whatever template I'm using is perfect is because then I can just duplicate and change the colors. It just makes it go a lot quicker, a lot easier for me. And although I'm spending more time up front making sure it looks great, I know the end result is gonna be better for you when you're actually using it. So I've been wasting time yeah really stupid of me <laughs> i found a way faster way to change the colors and i thought it would be important to note so if you're on the ipad all you have to do if you want to select multiple things which i knew already that i could select multiple things at once i guess it just didn't click in my brain that i could change the colors once they're selected all you have to do is hold your finger down on the ipad and then click with your stylus the items that you want to select and then change the colors it's so much easier than what i've been doing it's actually coming along really well i'm loving how they're turning out i have about six of the sheets done issue and it's not a good one. I always, always put more on my plate than I actually need to because I want to have a year one result on day one. And I can look at like my first video on YouTube compared to the videos I'm making now and see such a big difference and realize like that took a year for me to do. So I have to have that same mindset while I'm going through creating shops and products and all of that stuff. If you are doing your own planning, prepping, wanting to create your own business, have a side hustle, anything like that, where you're going to be in a year is going to be vastly different than where you are right now. And you just have to put in that energy, that effort and the time to actually get to where you want to be. All right. So prep talk done and we can hop into the work day. I think I'm going to start with doing my digital products because I know how to do it and I can then like do a little win, a little check, and then I'm gonna have even better energy, better mindset going into something I've never done before. I have the, it's corn with big lump knobs song in my head on replay all day while i do this send help <laughs> done uploading the products on my website check for the day I am going to try practicing the stickers on Cricut seeing if I can get that printed off and actually have physical stickers so I can start using them in my journal because let's be real I want to make it a little bit quicker setting things up hi so I printed off my first practice mock-up paper. I did it just on regular printer paper. It doesn't actually look like that much on camera, but this is supposed to be black and it's more of like a nice charcoal gray. Everything came out the exact size that I wanted it to, which is 
amazing and I can fit two of them on one page. So this is what you would theoretically be getting once I start selling physical stickers. Ooh, this is so exciting. Like I wish you could feel my heart. Like it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's very, like you know when you're really proud of something and you just have like that giddy excitement like a kid? That is how I feel right now. Yeah. <laughs> so excited! Okay. Focus. So I have some sticker paper that I bought a while ago when I was wanting to start doing stickers and when I got my Cricut. And when I say a while ago, it's from like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten months! <laughs> since I've bought this. So I'm gonna test it out on a couple. I have matte paper, glossy paper, transparent paper, opaque paper. I'm gonna test it out on a lot of different stuff. I wish I had a better setup than this, but everything's kind of sprawled around. I work in my spare bedroom in the house and things are in different corners. When you work at the house, you gotta make do with what space you got. Paper shade complete. I'm only gonna do one. Now I'm gonna test it out on the real deal. Okay, I'm gonna load it up. Here we go. Okay, so I definitely messed something up because it's starting to cut around like the letters of weekly daily set. So I'm gonna have to fix that up. But I think it's cutting around like the actual stickers, which is what I needed it to do. Yeah, they're all like slightly off for like that, well not that much, but like that much. Like they're just so ever so slightly off. I didn't add a bleed on it, maybe I should have done that. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna pick up on camera, but can you kind of see how the line is a little bit not aligned properly? I'm gonna have to go in, like maybe I just didn't align it properly on the edge. Like I kind of was, honestly, like if I look at it, maybe just a little hair over. So maybe that's just human error. Okay, so it kind of like cut through on some corners. I don't think that's that big of a deal. My blade is pretty new, but it's cute. Okay, I wanna see what it looks like in a journal. This is just like my September journal that I'm doing anyway, subscribe now, but I'm just gonna flip to the back of the book and test it out. I'm so excited! Because I'm putting it on white paper, it doesn't really make that big of a difference for me that there's that out, like white outline. I wouldn't sell anything like that though, of course, because I would want it to be like really good quality. But if I look at it like up close, it looks pretty, like pretty good other than that little white strip at the top. I'm gonna get another one, I'm gonna stick it down. So that's what it looks like in the journal. Like it looks really good. Honestly, I was gonna say it looks like I wrote it, but I did write it. So it's gonna look like my writing. In comparison to these, they look pretty similar. So I just basically decided to print out the black and white ones, but I have, or not the white ones, just the black ones. I do have a bunch of other colors though. Pink, red, orange, yellow, green, teal, purple, black, white, gray scale. Those are the ones that I have. I'm just so amazed. I'm so excited. I, I knew it wasn't gonna turn out perfect the first time. I obviously wish I did. I want to practice with a couple more because I want to see what ones I can kind of peel off. Let's say you put it in the wrong spot, you can kind of pick it up and, and move it around. The only issue is my nails don't really attach to things, so let me go get something like tweezers and see how well they work. Be right back. 
I see all the professional sticker people doing this. They have tweezers and then they can place the sticker in the right spot and then like move it around and stick it. All right, obviously I lifted it up and it's curly, but if I look at the page, there's not a lot of residue off of the sticker. Let me turn you around. I feel like it's good that we're doing it in like natural light, but you can kind of see the little sticker residue but I don't think that's the paper underneath peeling, it's the sticker over top. Okay, that is literally what I would write for my month. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say, oh my God, but I'm so pumped. This looks so cool and I made it. Honestly, well, the sun is setting here. It's not the, it's not the cutest lighting, but this is the real raw <laughs> emotion. I cannot believe that I have stickers. Like, okay, I know they're not perfect and I know that I'm gonna be testing out a few more, but like I did it. I actually did it. I'm gonna work with the stickers a little bit more as well. And then I'm gonna start uploading physical stickers on my shop. Ah, I'm so excited. I have a date in mind on when I want to do the physical stickers. I'm going to keep that one to myself because like just until I get closer to it, I feel like because I don't want a lot of pressure. This is just supposed to be fun and testing out, expanding my product line. And I would love to know what you personally would want to use in your bullet journal sticker wise, because I will create those digital stickers on my website into physical if you are a physical sticker person versus printing it off by yourself. Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you next time in another studio vlog and another how to bullet journal video. All right, bye.